Good morning. We're here with Janine Beasley of Continuum of Care. How are you this morning? I'm doing good. How are you doing? Good. Go right ahead. Jean, tell me all about your organization. Well, I actually work for Midshore Mental Health Systems. Okay. So we're the core service agency for the five Midshore counties uh, here in Maryland. So we do cover Queen Anne's County. But what I do at the office is I'm the Continuum of Care Manager. So I run our uh, Midshore Roundtable on Homelessness. Oh, well, all right. Wonderful. So can you tell us a little bit about the organization, how you are able to help the public? Sure. So what we do with the Midshore uh, on Homelessness is we try to bring together homeless service providers in the Midshore counties to make sure that we're all working together to try and serve people as best we can. We also get some funding in from the Department of Housing and Urban Development for uh, permanent supported housing programs that help people who are literally homeless and have mental health disabilities. Oh, wow. That's great. Mm -hmm. They really need it. Absolutely. Housing is such a need in this area. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So if a person was homeless, what is the first step they would do? And what, what could they do if they're, they need a place mm -hmm. and they need to find a place? Sure. So what they could do is they could contact the office. Uh, our number is 410-770-4801. Okay. Uh, and we can help get them connected to uh, emergency shelters in the area. One of the things that the Roundtable does each year is we put out a little, it's a pocket resource guide. Okay. So this is a really great resource tool. It lists all the emergency shelters, all the transitional housing, permit supported housing. It has the local departments of social services, mm -hmm. food pantries, and it folds up really small so you can just take it and put it in your pocket. Oh, nice. So we try to get these out to as many providers in the community as we can. Oh, nice. So they can certainly call the office and we can get them connected with an emergency shelter or see what other kind of programs they might qualify for. Oh, right. Well, it sounds like a valuable resource mm -hmm. to me. It really is. And I appreciate you coming to tell the public about it this morning. Great. We really need to know all the information we can to help people when, when we need to help them and when they need to help themselves. Mm -hmm. And so our group actually meets the second Tuesday of every month. Okay. We meet from 1.30 to 3 p.m. Uh, at Midshore Mental Health Systems. Our office is in Easton. We offer call-in capabilities, and you can also attend online since we cover a large area. Um, we want to make sure all our partners can participate. Great. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the information. Thank you for having us on. Oh, no problem, and thank you for all that you do. Thank you. All right. Here in Centerville with Janine Beasley of Continuum of Care, this is Renee Carter with QAC-TV. Have a wonderful day.